Hello, my name is Charles. Today I'm going to be talking to you about one of my foundation year jobs. It is vascular surgery. You've been on my mind like it's payday. I know they ain't a fan, I don't care what they say. Where we go, where we play, replay. Oh now vascular surgery was quite different from the acute medical job i had done the biggest difference i would say is the pace of things so the structure of the day is you get in start your day at 8 a.m usually i'd get in for about 7 30 to 7 45 in the trust that i work they used to have this handover sheet in medicine this handover sheet is updated by the ward nurses so you come in the morning at 7 30 check the locations of all the patients update their observation scores and basically print the list off for the team and then you go through each and every patient with a consultant where you basically highlight key things that you're looking to do for each and every patient and then you branch off and go off and see the patients and it usually takes about 10 minutes at most per patient in a surgical ball round compared to medicine where it can take 20 minutes to 25 minutes per patient it's really fast paced to be honest most of times it could be five minutes they literally just want to examine the patient figure out what's wrong with them and you're literally running around like a headless chicken trying to write into the nose as fast as possible after we finish ward round we'll usually go sit somewhere go through all the list of jobs because the ward round is quite quick the reg usually confirms what jobs needs to be done and then you can delegate the jobs among the team for me surgery was very different compared to medicine as there was four f1s whereas when i was doing medicine i was the only f1 in my team and then there was an f2 and then there was regs so it was nice working with people who are the same grade as me usually you split your jobs you get the jobs done you meet up again usually after lunch see what's left we delegate those jobs go off again come back and have a final meeting at the end of the day where you go through all of the different things the things that i enjoyed about surgery is it's quite fast paced you can get things done it feels like you've accomplished something these are all achievable tasks things that you can do in a day the thing that i found frustrating about surgery is obviously you start at eight to finish at five is rare because there's always more work to be done so it's very busy in the morning it quietens down in the afternoon and then it picks up again in the evening most of the times you'd find yourself finishing quite late usually around 5 30 6 and this was quite usual because other members of your team that are more senior sometimes have the expectation of you to work extra because they also had to work extra when they were junior so that's where it gets quite frustrating and it's the differences in the shift patterns i found in surgery where i worked was if you're going to have on-call days there would be four on-call days in a row so it would be monday tuesday wednesday thursday and then you have friday and the weekend off your on-call days are clocking patients all day long from eight to five and then after five if you are just on the ward looking after all the surgical patients that need anything doing for them or that are acutely unwell. Whereas a weekend shift, you're on the ward, you do the ward round with a consultant and a reg, there are less people that are actually there, which means your workload is dramatically increased, but you still have the same amount of time to get jobs done. After five, once again, you're looking after all of the surgical patients that have any emergencies on the ward. Night shifts, once again, it's the same thing again. You're looking after all of the patients. It's usually busier towards the start of the night and quieter towards the end of the night. I would say surgical nights for me personally were easier compared to medical nights due to the lack of the crash on call bleed and surgical patients in my experiences tend to be more stable as after they've gone through the operation you know they go through rigorous screening are they fit enough to survive the operation usually they are quite fit patients post operations there are a few that are quite unstable after the operations but usually they are less likely to get chest infections or shortness of breath randomly in the night compared to medical geriatric patients things that i loved about surgery was once again it was fast paced the ward rounds went too long you know you could keep pace with the ward rounds and what's happening things i hated about surgery was just it's all about business you know there's no real there's a lack of forming bonds and relations with seniors it's all business so sometimes it can come off as a bit harsh or lack of the interpersonal elements of work and you know it's rare to finish early if i'm on a summer day shift and you're also working extra hours compared to your medical rotations throughout because you've got an extra hour at the start of each day you can feel it after a while and one thing that you need to be you need to know is even though you're doing a surgical job you're a medic who's part of the surgical team going to theater is sort of an extra it's an add-on you're going to see things and a learning opportunity it's not a mandatory or part of your daily tasks you don't have to go to theater you go to theater after the war jobs have been finished or you liaise with your colleagues to be able to go you've been on my mind like it's payday i know they ain't a fan i don't care what they say where we go where we play replay all my